So hello crazy people, I'm Dhani here. You're watching the DD Projects channel guys. So I am back with another interesting new topic video guys. So in the last video we have saw like how to create an or how to generate an emoji by using a single line of Python code in Visual Studio code guys. So in today's video we are gonna see how to create a photo editor app in Visual Studio Code by using Python, guys. So, without uh, wasting any more time, let us get into the video now. So, guys, firstly, I have completed uh, with my coding because it has lots of code like 145 or 141 line of, uh, lines of code so i've completed with my coding now what i'll do is i'll just explain you the code so i'll provide the code or the source code link in the description my github link so i have uh, still more amazing pro uh, projects in my github uh, uh, account you can go check out there guys so without wasting the time let us get Started. Firstly, let me open the Visual Studio Code. So yeah, I am done uh, with my coding. Uh, see, it's like 147, guys. Sorry, it's like 147 line of code. So I'll explain it in a very short form or uh, short way, and uh, so that you people can understand like what are we doing in this video, guys. So. Let us get started. So, firstly, we have imported uh, imported our required modules from printer. Uh, so, like, let me show you how to import the uh, like how to download our required modules uh, in the uh, Visual Studio Code terminal. So, I don't have the internet access right now. It shows like uh, uh, error. Firstly, you have to install pip. How to install pip? I'll do it in the next video, guys. So in today's video, like I'll just tell you how to install the modules which you need. So first, uh, we have to type like uh, pip install, whatever the module name. So whichever the module you want to install, you have to put that name. So let us put thinker. Uh, oh, sorry, name is full confusing. Guys. So as I said you, I don't have internet, it is saying like retrying, 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 connection error. So we don't have the, our internet access. So let me close this. Firstly, we have imported our required modules over here from TTK, from Tinker, or field dialog, from Tinker, field dialog, import ask open file name, ask open first, ask save as file name. So here from PIL we have imported image, image TK, image filter, image enhance, image OPS and here we have imported OS and here we are setting the contrast border thumbnail guys. So root is equals to TK and root dot title, the title of the app should be like simple photo editor and root the geometry or uh, the size of the pixels. Uh, we are informing there and here we have created a function called def selected and here we have uh, given as global image path image image path we have created a uh, variable called image path is equal to field dialog dot ask open file we are asking the user to upload a file for editing and here we have used the dot open function for the image and here dot thumbnail the image should present there like mm, the image should uh, occur there on the screen so we are telling that to happen over here image dot thumbnail and then here and we have created a variable called image one image tk dot photo image and then in the next line again we have created like canvas two dot create image we are using create image function over here and here canvas 2 dot image is equals to image 1 and again here what we have done is we have created another function called as blur and then we have given it as event and same thing 
but we have added uh, image 1 IMDG from uh, we are going to for loop over here for m in range 0 uh, v1 dot get image is equals to image dot open and here like we are uh, just telling like here we are creating the blur part um, like we are telling that if we move like it will be like a rainbow cursor if we move our uh, cur uh, cursor uh, the brightness level increases if we decrease uh, the cursor uh, the brightness uh, the blurness of the image uh, decreases we are uh, telling that to happen over here and the same thing but the brightness over here we are setting up the brightness option over here by using uh, the def we've created a def uh, brightness uh, function over here and then here def contrast so we are setting up the contrast button over here like it will be like a pulling thing i'll show it in the output and here we have like a rotate image so here we have created a function called as rotate image for what in the sense uh, like if the image is in inverted we have to rotate the, uh, that image so we are telling that to happen if we here like we are adding that button and here we are adding flip image button guys so everything i'll demonstrate in the output uh, screen if you don't like to see this coding guys so at least you can see the output uh, demonstrations which i give after this coding uh, thing guys so and again here we have created another function called flip image uh to uh, like this is to rotate and this is to flip the image guys the buttons and here we have uh, again added a last button called as image border button it gives the border for the image and here image one is equals to none uh like null and again here we have added our last button called as save button if you press on the save we have to select the path and then uh, in the word forms like a uh, jpg png file like we are telling uh, like in what uh, file type it has to save and then here we have given if function if canvas 2 dot image is equals to image 1 image dot save file so lf is not canvas 2 dot image is equals to image 3 image 2 dot save so here we are using the r save function to save our images which are edited in our photo editor app guys so again here uh, here what we have done is we have created a variable called blur is equals to label and inside our round brackets we have given our root text blur oh, we are designing our buttons in this part of code guys here we are in th this thing is uh, uh, designing our button and this is the scaling thing guys scaling in the sense our uh, <coughs> what would I like <coughs> sorry guys what would I like uh, <coughs> sorry 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 please just what would I like it will be like a button uh, or a sound volume button which uh, you have in your phones we are uh, creating that for our blur button and here for our brightness button again the scaling things and here for our contrast buttons and here for our rotate buttons oh sorry here for our rotate buttons and here again for the flip and here for the border and then here for the buttons guys so here select image we are basically we are what we are doing here is we are creating the buttons and just styling it and here we have created a canvas to display the images guys so that's it um if you do not like or uh, do not uh, want to listen to my explanations you can directly get into my uh, you know get into the if you want to see how to work like how will the output be mm, just skip the last part and then if you want to do this project if you like this project please like my video share my video and subscribe to my channel guys and then i'll provide the github link in the description you can go to tap there and get my source code and you can enjoy this product guys now um, without wasting the time let me show you the output guys so let me just type python so if you are the newcomer i'll tell you like have to see the output.
so you have to first install the python in this visual studio code and then if you want to see the output for the python just type python and you have to type the file name which i have given here while you are creating the project just type main.py and then press enter so here is our a uh, simple photo editor app is done so let me press on select image it will redirect us to the uh, this pc or our uh, to our uh, file explorer so let me go to the images uh, screenshots mm, let me select my uh, channel thing guys so here i have added my channel thing here so this is what i was actually telling you guys like the dragging things so the blur button how it works you let me show you as soon as i increase the uh, cursor the see the blurness it's actually working guys the blurness is becoming uh, is becoming more if i reduce this thing the image comes to its original state or to its original uh, form now let me show you the brightness thing if i just increase this brightness the image brightness you know just like attracts that brightness when i reduce that or when i come back to the normal form uh it comes to its uh, thing guys and the contrast thing it is actually working but we could not see that uh, in our eyes guys so let me show you like how this rotate flip add but add border works like so rotate 90 degree it rotates to the 90 degree 180 degree full tilted and then 270 to the left fully left 360 to its original state or whatever if you just cancel and just come to the another flip top to bottom if i press on this it directly flips uh <coughs> sorry if you want to flip like right and left you can use this rotate option guys right and uh, right t and then 270 to this and i don't know uh, this how border thing works let me show you yeah uh, i don't know if you could see the border or what uh, yeah guys it's actually working the thing is we have our white border uh to this image so that we could not see it properly so if we just click on save it again redirects to uh, it, it it redirects to the file explorer and it asks for the file name so let us say as something like o o and you can even uh, <coughs> save the file in png file or jpg file and just click on save <coughs> it will be saved guys and then when you click on exit it comes back oh so yeah guys this was about today's video guys i think this video was super uh, useful for you guys so please like my video share my video and subscribe to my channel guys until uh, and i'll be back in the next video with interesting topic until then take care bye bye guys <laughs>